Hi guys. Right. Just finished work. Just got in. Just got a quick shave. Um, with this Yuri Art Razor. This is my wedge. Near wedge. Old time design. Mammoth scales. As you can see, it's an 8 8 It's a pretty thick grind. And I did. I did actually sold this razor to a chap and they wanted me to put a 10 cage on it so I did uh, then he then he changed his mind about the razor so that cell fell through so what I've done I popped it back on the eBay and it sold within seconds to a guy in the USA um, it's a really nice razor actually I'm surprised it took so long to sell um, it shaves superb but this now has got the 10k Koseki with the, with the new cortical that I bought um, I just finished on that using the slurry, slurry method to water um, so yeah, I'm going to see what this shave's like before I send it to this guy in the USA. I always like to shave test the razors, uh, give them one last shave. Uh, if he shaves me fine, I know he's going to shave him fine, so. Sorry about that, the water went a little bit cold on me then. I'm just going to use the SV 70th anniversary so once again. Getting to the bottom of this now. Let's get in there. Yeah, I've sold this razor. Um, I do like wedges, but my favourite grinds are half hollow to full hollow. I've got a Max Sprecher that's a half hollow. But this one that Yuri made for me, he, he sort of taught me into buying it. He said the edge, they said they cut really well and what have you. And, uh, I must admit, he was, he was right when he says that. I've never had a bad shave off this razor. But I, like, I have to sell things on to fund other things, if you know what I mean. It's, you can't just keep buying stuff and not and holding on to it because you'll end up with hundreds of razors. Sit there doing nothing. I like to use my razors. I've got some such lovely wolf razors. I need to start using all these razors and getting my money's worth out of them. Look at that lavas on. Great show. Right, that's that done. A shower, always have a shower before you have a shave, makes a big difference. Yeah, a nice bit of steam and let that shower head of hot water run onto your face for a good minute. Just gonna strap a little bit more leather. That's one of my new straps from Ezra Arthur. This is the shell, very expensive, but very, very nice leather. That's stropping on butter. Right, I'm hoping this has got that like, cortical feel. Right, here it goes. This has never let me down yet. God, that is smooth. Right, 
Now, I'm not just saying this, but that is just mowing the hair down. It's buttery smooth. I must be mad to sell this razor, actually. Yeah. Well, I know the guy that gets it is going to have a shot because he's going to love the way this shaves. You can't even feel it taking the whiskers off. Yeah, that's awesome, awesome. It's a heavy razor, just the weight of the blade. Tang's a little bit short for me. I do struggle to get my finger in this design, but you get around that. Just have to cut the scales up further. I'm just using a feather touch here. I think I've first, this, this cuticle that I've got, I mean, it's just, a, it's just putting an amazingly smooth edge on my razors. Crazy. Honestly, I just cannot feel a thing. Yeah, it's brilliant. That. Cannot feel a thing. Nice, nice shave. Let's go across the green now, see how this feels. It's just the sheer weight of that blade, you just use the weight of the blade. Yeah, the SV soaps, they are very expensive. You're talking about 32 quid for some of them. <coughs> I think it's because they're imported from Italy for a start off. But if you are paying that amount of money and you don't think it's worth it, then it is a waste of money. But anyone that uses the SV soaps uh, will tell you the same as me, probably me. They're, they're really good. The lava holds up well. You can't, you can't, the post shave feels great as well.
and this razor is really good. Excuse me. Yeah, just using the weight of the blades, heavy blade. Very light touch as well. See why people like to shave with these type of grinds, especially if you've got a thick wiry stubble. Across the gate grain on this side. Let's see if this is that comfortable. Yep. This is a very sharp edge, very good. across the jawbone there extremely comfortable Yeah, when I finish with the cortical, what I do, I do make a little bit of slurry and I start off with light half strokes. I do basically a mini, a mini dial cut. And then I finish with some half strokes on water and then 30 light egg strokes. And then I just strop the razor on linen, natural linen, and leather. Check the hanging air, and the hanging air after the 10k should still be good. It shouldn't be as aggressive though. <coughs> the cortical will leave that bit finer, smoother, less toothy edge, and your hanging air test should be like a softer, but a clean pop. You have to be careful because it is an heavy blade. You can, if you use a bit too much pressure, you can probably catch yourself. It's comfortable under the lip. Yeah, you have to be gentle with it because there's no flex in this place, there's no forgiveness. You're just shaving with a, a lump, lump of steel basically. Well, that'll do me, two passes, very nice shave, excellent razor. I hope the new owner likes the razor and I'm sure he will. Silent but deadly shave of that. I just find wedges a little bit boring. They cut, if the hone correctly, they cut well. But you don't get that feedback. You don't get that butter and toast sound. I, I love to hear the, 
scratching and the scraping of a razor on my face and just the flexibility of it just bouncing off your skin picking underneath there you can just really flick in there and but there's a lot of guys that do prefer wedges I can, I can understand why I mean I've watched Martin's, Martin's test shaves um, and, and Martin shave with a few wedges um, include obviously not wedges but the Max Spreaders and I've always thought Martin's look very comfortable with a wedge um, I think he gets on with them really well but I think same as me he likes the uh, the noisy razors and the full hollows so yeah but anyway guys great shave lovely razor catch you next time bye for now